uh, when we started off uh, this awareness campaign more than 10 years ago, it was in the hope that this will be self-running and self-sustainable uh, through the work of volunteers. And indeed, today, this has reached the stage. So I'm, I'm very, very happy and very appreciative that this has happened. Endometriosis needs to be known in a larger scale and need more awareness in Singapore. I personally did not know about it um, until I was diagnosed. Um, you know, no one in my family knows about it. Um, none of my friends knew about it. When I was doing my research and looking at options, looking at doctors, uh, there's still not, not a lot of information out there. Uh, while I see more people um, in recent years knowing about endometriosis, um, I believe there is still a lot of work that we can do to educate the general public and also to promote early diagnosis. However, I do feel like it's um, improving. Um, I think especially with a younger generation, I think we're more open um, to talking about women conditions. Currently it takes about, I think about eight years like on average for women to be diagnosed. So hopefully if all the initiatives being done, uh, we can bring that number down. The more general public knows endometriosis, um, the easier for individuals to seek medical help and also um, receive uh, appropriate treatments. Awareness is getting a bit more better now with efforts from the public as well as the ads, you know, giving around whereby they are educating people about endometriosis. Uh, I think it is important um, for us to deliver a clear message to all uh, endo warriors that, you know, they are not in this alone. Uh, you know, all the friends and families are behind them. If endometriosis uh, Nerea's charity, I think it's probably one of the more prominent, you know, movement groups out there in, in Singapore. I'm actually extremely happy that we have got a big group of volunteers and supporters who are all supporting the awareness of this disease condition. Mm -hmm.